How's it going? I'm ready to grab some more con strategic plans. Their destructive potential could reduce the depot to rubble. That has to be prevented at all costs. There are far more powerful things that threaten all of us. The attacks by the foreign invaders are clearly structured, and their intentions are fairly obvious. But the falseness and unpredictability of the free people is far more alarming to me. The Morcons make no secret of the fact that they're destructive fanatics. That's what we're all supposed to believe. But I think there's more to it than that. Let's find out. Show me these so-called Morcons. Okay, follow me. It's like last time. The Morcons have hidden their plans somewhere over there. I don't think they'll be too happy about us taking them. Damn it. There's still so much to get done. So, you better be careful then. I'll be right behind you. Whatever it is you're hoping to achieve, we're just gonna make them mad when they find out what we're actually up to. If you want to avoid that, then you better make sure they don't spot us. Those old methods of construction were highly inefficient. Why exactly are you creeping around? Why exactly are you creeping around? Exactly, are you creeping around? Why exactly are you creeping around? Why exactly Man. are you creeping around? Done nothing but sit on my ass for three days. Steal Someone better come collect the prisoners soon. What are you soon. doing sneaking around here? Really getting on my nerves. Hey, what are you doing sneaking around can here? Can I go now? Oh, yeah, sure. You can go. Go crawl up your own ass, you dipshit. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can Don't pay you. thinking you can steal yeah, I have here. shards. Lots of them. What did you say? How much? A few hundred. <laughs> In a chest. I got the key on me. Then give it here. Where's the chest? Near a radio tower. North of Don't the bar. Don't go thinking you can steal from here. I can here. show you the way. Don't, Don't worry go yourself, you buddy. Steal from here. I have all the info I need. Why exactly are you creeping around? Why exactly are you creeping around? Here's the plans. Now to get out of here. Here are the Morcon plans you wanted. Good. In fact, that's very good. Finally, some more insight into the machinations of these religious lunatics. I'll check this out as soon as possible. Then what? I don't know yet. Ask me again later. So, have you gleaned any insights from the plans yet? I have indeed, several, but I hardly think they will be of any use to you. Why not? 
because it's about emotional reactions and attitudes towards certain circumstances. Such as? How they think about procreation, what they'd do if none of the other groups were there anymore. Highly advanced techniques related to unavoidable threats and fears of survival. You're talking about psychology, about being human in itself. It sure looks that way to me. Okay. How are you going to protect your people with this? You of all people should know that. If you know your enemy, you know how to hurt them most effectively. Hmm. Exactly. How's everything going? Look. Status report. I've got no reason to complain right now. Just because the invaders have only appeared sporadically so far, doesn't mean that it'll stay that way. I found this piece of limestone in a pit nearby. Hey, man, you don't make such a bad laborer, you know? Now, do you agree to help us fix the bastion? Okay, I'm in. But I'm telling you now, it's not gonna be pretty. This place is gonna look like a patchwork quilt. The bastion ain't a palace. If you're looking for something fancy, I'm not your man. I'm not a miracle worker, you know? And, uh... How's about that payment? Excuse me? Yeah, I'll work that out with the old man. Anyway, I better get to it. All this work won't do itself, you know. I hope you're making good progress. I bet you... Talk to Gardok. He'll help us repair the Bastion's old walls. Excellent news. I knew he was the man for the job. Keep it up, Jax. You're doing well. It's starting, Jax. The first Sky End scout troops have reached our lands. We can assume their agitators are here to check out our strategic positions. You have to deal with them before they can report back to their superiors. I think I found our commander, Warlord Theog down at the World Heart. He'd be perfect for us. I'm just not sure he'll be willing to go along with your great plan. Hey, this is your plan as much as mine. I'd never be able to do it alone, and you know that. Where should I look for their scouts? Check your agitator. I've loaded the locations where you might find them. For now, they're still operating out of sight. We should act fast before they have a chance to finish their job. I wasn't finished telling you my story. I bet you do. Otherwise, you might have to get your hands dirty. <laughs> Once the Skyans know what we're up to, they'll hit us with everything they've got. So find those scouts and take them out as soon as you can.
remember how this place used to look? Yeah, a whole lot more desert. Seeing what we've made here makes me proud to be a berserker. Sorry for rambling on like that. Name's Brambard. Nice to meet you. Ah. Tell me, do you have any news from the border regions of Caracas? I lived there, till they destroyed my hut. Really? Oh boy, that's tough. Why are you so interested? We're wearing ourselves pretty thin in the inland of Tavar, in the coastal areas too. But the way I see it, the real danger comes from outside. Not enough of us in Caracas. It'll be our undoing. At some point I'll get myself over to Caracas to check everything's okay. What was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. That really tasted like shit. Oh, yeah. The Berserkers have made this place more bearable. We've got to give them that. Does that the make outlaws sense? were in charge. It was little more than an oversight. If you want your daily rations for free, talk to Skinny outside if he's there. Or is there something else I can help you with? Give me something to eat. What are you hungry for? The outlaws were in charge, a little more than an oversized junkyard. Not anymore. Hey, want a bowl of soup? It's free. Why are you giving away food? Rats set it up. Hungry people are more likely to rebel. He wants to, uh, ensure nobody starts questioning his leadership. What's in the soup? Oh, veg, meats, and my secret ingredients. A splash of liquor, duh. I call it Skinny Special. All the body needs, and more. Give me something to eat. Here, enjoy. You're entitled to one bowl of soup a day. That's one. If you want it. All right? Up. It's a 
Just let me get on with my job, okay? Yeah, but only because... Get out of here. Go out and play or something. I don't have time for your games. Damn kids. Nothing but trouble. How... Hi there. Take that high and shove it when the sun don't shine. Not in the mood for a chat. Unless you want to scrub this floor? No? Well, that's a fucking surprise. What's going on here? Some filthy bastard used my hut as a public shitter. Dumped a load next to my damn bed. Oh, that's just disgusting. You're telling me. It's my fucking hut. Till I find out who did it, Fenris will have to assign someone else to the South Cape. Spend your time looking out for people, and how do they repay you? With a turd in your house. Don't know why I fucking bother. Do you need a bucket of water? No, I can do it myself. Let me give you some advice. Keep an eye on those little shits. No, the kids, not the lump on my floor. Bet my life one of them are responsible for this. A good beating would sort the little fuckers out if you ask me. I know who you're talking about. I heard they all died. Sounds like vultures to me. Can I help you? Are you looking for something in particular? So, how are things going with the shop? Well, could be better. Times are hard. Ever since Skinny opened that soup kitchen and started giving away food for free, I've been losing customers. And that Morcon trader who's made himself at home here isn't helping. I wish the City Watch would stop talking and finally throw him out of the fort. Now, but what can you do? You have to keep going somehow, so you roll your sleeves up and get back to work. What about it? You want to buy anything? Show me what you've got. Take a look around. Welcome. I have everything your heart desires. Need new gear? Then I'm your man. Let's see, what can I palm off on? I mean, what can I sell to you? Sell, sell. Business going well? What a question, my friend. They flock from near and far for the pleasure of buying from me. I only stock the most exclusive goods, so take your time. Look around. And, uh... Don't forget to come and see me before you head out into the wilderness. Okay, what do you have? Anything you need, my friend.
welcome to the Sleepy Traveler. We rent our rooms by the week only. 70 shards a week. No breakfast or other fancy stuff included. So, will you be staying with us? I don't have time right now. Hey! You Finally. have no business don't here! Don't you dare do that again! Don't make me angry. Good to see you. What goods have you got? Of course. Valued customer. Yeah, please, feel free to browse my wares. You won't regret it. Whatever you need, whatever your circumstances, I'm the merchant for you. Oh, uh, you are going to buy something, aren't you? Okay, what do you have? Wares beyond your wildest dreams. Doesn't look all that impressive to me. Uh, you're right. Who am I kidding? Business is shit. Hardly have any customers these days. Hey, look, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you bought something. Anything! What's a Morcon doing in Berserker territory? I'm a merchant. A... Uh, uh, traveling one. Here of all places? Hey, listen. I need the shards to feed my family. But that's none of your business. Why would a stranger care about my life story? Are the berserkers giving you shit? <laughs> Small understatement, that. The other merchants are doing a great job of scaring off my potential customers. I've tried everything in the book, but not having any luck. They think I'm some child-eating monster the way people avoid me. I'm just trying to mind my own business, literally. Things go missing, it's my fault. Things break, it's my fault. Any issues, really, my fault. I can't go back to Caracas empty-handed, so gotta put up with this crap. Why don't you complain? To who? The guards? Heard the phrase, pissing in the wind? Who are they gonna believe, me or the berserker merchants? Besides, the merchants aren't my only problem. You have others? I uh, recently made a deal with the innkeeper, Chloe. I get her some exotic crap from Caracas in return for food rations. Of course I jumped at it. The cuisine in the grotto isn't exactly, uh, uh overburdened with variety. But, uh, oh, not this crap again. Hold on. Hands where I can see him, Scab. We were just... Shut it. What the fuck is that? That right there? This? It's just... <laughs> Junk. Low-grade shit. No, no, I'd never dream of selling... Shut it, asshole. I'm on the lookout for goods that aren't of legal standing. Huh, this looks, uh, fairly above board. Must be your lucky day, pal. Does that mean we're done here? You're gonna wait here like a good little boy till I say we're done. Your turn, pal. Is this Morgon merchant trying to peddle third-rate shit? What makes you say that? Just answer the damn question! Back off. We were just talking. Just talking, huh? Haven't you heard all the complaints? Sky-high prices, shitty goods... None of that's true. It's all lies! Wasn't asking you, shit brain. Shut it! If I notice anything suspect, anything at all, there'll be trouble. So watch yourself, that's what I say. 
Everything's rosy here. You're not needed. Listen, smartass. I'm the one who gives orders around here. Yeah, we can leave it there. Carry on. <sighs> not a day goes by that I don't get accused of some made-up bullshit. It's a never-ending cycle. But anyway, not your concern. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, where was I? Oh, oh, the innkeeper, yes. As you might have guessed, she didn't uphold her end of the bargain. Why don't you work this out with her? But I can't just leave my wares. Think of what would happen if I did. Would you mind bringing this up with Chloe? Find out where my rations are? If you can sort that, I could even take you to Caracas, if you like. Sure you don't want to spend your whole life rotting in this dump, right? Well, what do you say? What if I don't want to go to Caracas? Well, you could join me anyway. I'd sure appreciate a companion to relieve the boredom. Boredom, right. Uh, okay, I admit. I wouldn't mind the protection. The route's full of nasty surprises. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Eh, I don't like to say too much, you know. But uh, anyway, back to my food problem. Uh, just let me know if you're going to see Chloe. We'll need the details. In the meantime, feel free to peruse my wares. You never did get around to it. <sighs> okay, I'll speak to Chloe and see what happened to your rations. Robach knows I don't have anyone else to turn to. Can't tell you how grateful I am. Uh, Chloe owes me a few pallets of canned meat and spices. But to be honest, I don't care what it is, as long as it's canned. Ideally not rat meat, though. Eh, had my fair share of that, I can tell you. Is that everything? Well, there is one more wrinkle. It could be tough to get to her. You'll first have to get past her doorman. He's as dumb as a post. Takes his job far too seriously as well. At least he does where I'm concerned. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Bye for now. You! Get over here! I'm pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. Alright then. Next question. Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? I guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm gonna be watching you real close. You interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. They could be anywhere. Which you seem to check out. You can smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Who are these people you're talking about? They're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their propaganda. It's all over the fort. You know, the outlaw flyers. Must have missed that. Those damn outlaw flyers are all over the fort. 
Warlord Rat's not gonna let the outlaws spread their lies like this. It's my job to put a stop to them. You get to help me. How exciting is that? Why should I help you? Because it's an honor to be asked, that's why. You'll be assisting a very important investigation. I need someone like you. An outsider who isn't too involved in all the Ford's comings and goings. Besides, the sooner we sort this out, the sooner we can open the upper district to the public again. So, ready to help with my inquiries? Yeah. Excellent. Then let's get going. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. And here's one of the nails they used to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. What do you know about the attempt on Rat's life? Didn't Fenris explain everything? Uh, all right, I'll give you the short version. The outlaws managed to plant a bomb in the upper district, but the whole scheme fell apart. After that, Rat had the area closed off. Only people we know we can trust are allowed in. Ever since, that propaganda has been showing up all over the fort. Wish I could tell you more. That's all I know. About those clues. Go on, look closely at the flyer and nail. The clues are right there. It looks like this nail was made in a forge. Good, good. My conclusion exactly. And the flyer. And the flyer? What do you make of that? The back of the flyer is kind of interesting. That's right. It gives us a concrete lead to follow. The starting point, at least. You spotted the same two clues I did. The nail was made in a forge, and the propaganda flyer has a drink menu on the back. That's some nice attention to detail. I'm impressed. Based on these facts, a couple of possible suspects come to mind. Chloe the innkeeper, and Lass the blacksmith. Either of them could have had something to do with this. They'd never talk to a guard, but they might be more open with an outsider like you. I'd like you to question them both. I'll be keeping an eye on who's going in and out of Chloe's tavern. We clear? Crystal clear. Good. Then we'll meet up again when you're done talking to them. That was not advisable. What are you doing here? woman, don't you think?
Not now. I have more than enough problems of my own to deal with. Not coming in here. How come? You look like shit. And people who look like shit mean trouble. What brings someone like you here anyway? I just wanted a drink. I don't give a damn what you want. I don't like your ugly face. So stay out. Have you lost? What are you still doing here? Get lost! What had to happen? Did I hear that right? Hang on a minute. Just gotta sort something out. There's my way, and there's the wrong way. Hang on a minute. Uh. You let that man through. I hired you to throw drunks out, not keep paying customers away. But... No buts! Shit on a fucking stick. I don't believe it. Everyone should be able to get a good look at it here. Well, that's all settled. I hope all this run thing around was worth it. We'll see what Johannes decides to fork over as payment. I don't believe it. One of the new prices for a large beer. How long have you been working for me now? Several years. How is it even possible that you still don't know the fucking prices? You can't sell people beer for a different price every time. Beer comes in one size, and it always costs the goddamn same. Get it tattooed on your fucking forearm. Idiot. Whatever you want to tell me, it's probably not the right thing. I really don't know why I bother hiring staff in the first place. Every damn thing, your damn self, anyway, if you want it done right. And now you show up? <sighs> My day's not shitty enough. What the fuck do you want, Jax? So you haven't forgotten me. How could I? You turned the fort upside down. So tell me, how do I get rid of you? You in a bad mood? No. I'm the motherfucking poster girl for happiness. Hey, can you teach me something? Me? Teach you? Have you spent the last few years drinking away your couple of remaining brain cells? Can you or can't you? Okay, well, I don't know much, but maybe I know something that can help. You can decide when we get started. I want to learn from you. Let's get this over with. You ever seen this before? It's one of those pieces of paper advertising Baxter's goons, isn't it? That's right. And what do you expect me to do with it?
These are your drink menus. Huh. That explains a lot. Well, I'm interested to hear what you have to say for yourself. Listen up, you little... I don't have to answer to you. She didn't mean it like that. What'd you want to tell us? I always mean exactly what I say, just as I say it. Okay, okay. If you will just let me explain. Shoot. I knew someone was stealing my drink menus. I have to get new ones made all the time. It was killing me. I was about to start just writing the damn prices on the blackboard. Having said that, I'm pretty sure no menus have gone missing in the last week or so. So you probably won't find the culprits here. Is that it? If so, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry I can't help you. You'll just have to keep looking. Ivan is waiting for his groceries. Who? The merchant. Which one? The Morcon trader. Oh, him. You've come to the wrong place. He mentioned you specifically. So what if he did? I had his goods. Had. So where are they now? How the fuck do I know? Some asshole stole them and I'd have to go to the upper district to get replacements. But if I tell you it was Rat who swiped the stuff, it's nothing you didn't know already. Ivan won't like that. Not my fucking problem. Unless Fenris loosens up access to the upper district, he's shit out of luck. I can't perform miracles. I've spoken to Chloe. And? Did she have anything to do with those flyers? She claims someone stole those drink menus from her. She was even thinking about getting rid of the menus for good. Would save her from having to make new ones all the time. Mm, sounds like she isn't involved. And what about Lass? Speak to him yet? Not yet. Maybe you'll have more luck with him. Hmm, this one's empty too. What about this one? Nope. Empty. Weird. What are you doing? Research. I see. And what are you researching? Beer bottles. A little young to be drinking, aren't you? I just want to know who drank them. What do you care? Me and my friends are on a case. And to solve a case, you've got to research stuff. A few empty beer bottles. That's your case. You can't ask questions. Only the detectives can ask questions. Those are the rules. Of course. Don't I feel stupid. There's ten bottles over there. So, how many adults would it take to empty them all? One could do it, but probably two. Ha, <laughs> that's what I thought. And the footprints prove it. I have to go tell my friends about this. You'll have to guard the bottles while I'm gone. Oh, really? Hey, it's no fun if you don't play along. So you can't move now, okay? You're the bottle guard. Bye! Don't run away from me. Well, great. Yep, this is what it's come to. I'm actually guarding bottles. Hey, is that your mess? You talking about the bottles? What else would I be talking about? Does this look like an outlaw camp? You can't leave garbage lying around. Clean it up. Can't do that. I'm supposed to be guarding them. You're fucking kidding me. This kid asked me to make sure no one touched them. You handing out alcohol to children? Calm down. It's just a game. Oh, 
So you think getting kids drunk is a game? What the hell's wrong with you? You're lucky I'm off duty. But I won't forget your face. Oh yeah, gonna keep an eye on you. Giving alcohol to kids, unbelievable. Fenris is gonna hear about this. That little rat is really causing me trouble. Hopefully there won't be any more guards. Hey there, kid. Say, you uh, finished with that booze there? I wouldn't get excited. They're empty. For you, maybe. See, I got a talent for finding the last drop. Sometimes you gotta work for it, you know? Now, if you'll just let me through... Here, go buy a proper drink. Oh, thank you, boy. That's a real generous donation, that is. Take care of yourself. That's hopefully everything. I won't be playing the fool anymore. In any case, it doesn't look like the kid's coming back. Do you know that most of the old radio towers are still intact? But almost nobody knows how to use them. Everybody is more interested in alcohol. But that has other advantages. I can't see anything positive in a self-induced loss of control. Maybe it's time to find out. Thanks, but no thanks. I see. You want a healing elixir for your nose. I'll give you two ointments. Now, where did I put them? The last ointment was... No, one moment. Wait, I'll be right back. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? You were gonna give me some sort of ointment. I was? How impertinent of me to be so... presumptuous. Ointments need preparation. Consideration. Wait, what do you actually want? You know I can't give you any work. I already have an assistant. And I can't offer any training. Only my apprentice is allowed that honor. I don't see an apprentice. Well, no. The last one left. He was completely incompetent. So the position is free? By no means. So you found another? That is not what I said. <sighs> We're going around in circles. Look, I just can't say right now. Sorry, but I must be going. I hope everything is crystal clear. He just won't give up. What is it now? 
Can we talk about the apprentice position again? Your insistence is unbearable. Allow me to clarify things. Firstly, a new apprentice is already on his way here. Secondly, he's... well, late. And thirdly, you could possibly assist me in changing these circumstances. Why should I help you? You won't just be helping me. Many people benefit from the potions I make. Selfishness and small-mindedness are not to be tolerated. Help others before helping yourself. That's my mantra. Grant me the position and your problems will disappear. You have references? A steady hand and sound mind are essential in alchemy. I don't need a hatchet man like you. But if you're genuinely interested in helping me, I welcome you with open arms. Please be a little more specific. Heavens above, not again. I need my old apprentice. Please get him back for me. I'll help you find your apprentice. Excellent. That's the spirit. Look around Western Tavar. I heard he recently left Goliath, so he must be somewhere near there. I wish I could be more specific, but I'm no fortune teller. What does your apprentice look like? Look, I'm not even sure if he's, you know, a man. Do you know his age? I never inquired. How does he dress? How should I know? People wear whatever they like these days. Can't you tell me anything that would help? Don't be impertinent. I already told you, look for him in the West. And now, I really must be getting back to work. Can you teach me? Of course. Don't. I could pay you. I already said how valuable. Excuse me, but would it be a problem for you to take a different path? Am I interrupting? You are disrupting an active investigation. And a crime scene should always remain in its original state. I see. Can I help? The perpetrator must be an adult. You are an adult. That means you are under suspicion. You're a real smart one, aren't you? I'm simply making good use of logic. So, you're gonna tell me what happened? Did you not notice the blood? On the ground? A classic sign of a crime scene. Classic. Aren't you too young to be looking at that? Too late. Listen, kid. You're too young to be involved in this. Nonsense! I have to gather clues and deduce motive. I may have to question you again, too, so please remain available. Can I ask your name, please? Call me Jax. Got it. Suspect number three is named... Jax. I gotta get going. Bye! Hey, where are you going? Fucking kids.
I'm just looking around. Want to buy something? If not, I ain't got time for you. What's got you so aggressive? Oh, nothing personal. Tylus is just getting to me. I buy a lot of my stock from him. I think his ways are starting to rub off on me. I didn't mean to be rude. Take a look around and just let me know if you want to buy something. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Looking for something? Don't make me angry. I saw a woman of such beauty. Help you with something. Speak up and talk fast. There's iron in the fire. Then you must be the blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Guess I must. Damn forge is hotter than hell. Swinging a hammer in there is thirsty work. So, you buying? Cheers. Thanks. Bottoms up then. Cheers. Oh, man. That hit the spot. You can come as often as you like. <laughs> hey. I owe you one. Not everybody do me a favor like that. Can you make me a weapon and teach me how to smith? <laughs> Full service, huh? I'm too busy, kid. I can do one or the other, not both. So you choose. Weapon or training. I want to learn to be a smith. Well, I ain't got time to take you on as an apprentice. I'm behind enough as it is. But there's nothing to the trade that you can't learn by making mistakes and fixing them. So, just have at it. Let me know if you get stuck, okay? Too many questions, and I'll start charging some shards. Only fair. Are these nails your handiwork? Let me see. Hmm. Could be. Been a while since I made nails. But the longer ones there, those might be mine. Stopped making them because they just kept getting stolen. Why you ask? Those nails were used to hang up outlaw propaganda. Well, that explains why nobody was buying and why they kept getting stolen. And now they suspect me. That it? And if they did... It's just about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I like it here. Like being the smith. 
why would I go over to them outlaws? The way they treat metal, all that artless welding, no pride in it, can't abide it. Nope, so I keep my distance from it. Sorry I can't help, never did catch the thieves. They knew what they were doing. If that's the case, I suppose I'll have to keep searching. Hope you find them. Good luck. Teach me how to be a blacksmith. What do you want to know? Could I convince you to forge me a weapon as well? It ain't I don't want to. Just I gotta turn down paid work for something like that. So, I mean, if you was to hire me to do it, make it official, you know. I'm not crazy about taking shards from friends. But Fenris is always telling me I do too much for free, and I can't argue. I need more sh- Let's trade. Yeah, sure. Perfect. I'll pay you to forge me a weapon. Best money you'll spend. Guarantee it. Been thinking about a plan for a real special weapon for a while now. Haven't had the time. But if you brought me what I need, I'd make it for you. What do you think? About that special weapon. I'll get you what you need. Ah, my man! It's gonna be a true masterpiece. Of course, we'll need some real choice components. What are we talking about? I need some real dense bone for the tank. Real dense. None of them little scraps. Any asshole can find them. I need some real rough leather. Not that artificially roughened crap. That stuff is weak. I need leather that's naturally rough. Yeah, I can get that. Hold up. I'm not done yet. We need some acid, too. Acid? Yeah, acid. Strong as you can get. I use it to pattern the blade, and for mixing a glue even a troll can't unstick. Where do I find all this? Not at the market. You'll have to go hunting. Look for old animals. Critters produce really strong acid. They just like people. The older they get, the more acerbic they are. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, stay focused. The funny thing about pricklebacks is that their innards shrink as they get older. Hard to see from the outside, but even though their bones get thinner, they aren't getting lighter. They become denser, more solid. That's what we need, prickleback bones. And the leather? I was just getting to that. Most young animals have pretty smooth skin. But wet lurker skin is like it's tanned naturally. The older they get, the harder and tougher their skin is. That would be perfect for our masterpiece. You got enough iron? Still got some steel bar brought with me from Goliath. We're saving it for a special project. Reckon I'll fold them a few times and use them for this. All the iron we'll need. Any idea where I can find these old animals? Not much of one. Was talking to the hunter Astrid just the other day. She gave me some pointers on some packs she sent. Hold on, I'll dig out my notes for you. This should get you there. Let's just hope there's some ancient ones among them, huh? 
Oh, and if you could see your way to getting two of everything, I'd be mighty grateful. It mean I'd have enough to maybe make something else as well. I can do that. Thanks. Then happy hunting. The love her I thought was my cutie. I left my work. I had to rest. My heart was pounding in my chest. She looked at me. She shook her head. I stink just like a pig, she said. Now I stay clear of women better that way. So I just swing my hammer all day. Mm. So, you made it past the gate guard. Do I know you? Uh, not yet, but you will soon. We have something in common, you see. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, we're both standing here. <laughs> but maybe this isn't the time for joking around. I'm Hank. How you doing? I bet you worked hard to get in here, huh? <laughs> it's a slog. Believe me, I know. I had to work with the salvagers back in the day before I was allowed in. So, I want to make you an offer. A little head start's never hurt anyone. And what exactly do you have to offer? Something you won't find anywhere else. Let's talk business. I have no issue with shards, but there are plenty of other more interesting ways to pay. I trade items, for example. Then put the profits to good use. But since we all need shards sometimes, how about making a small investment? Consider it an advance on any future business. Once it's made, we can exchange things sometimes, and I'll give you something valuable in return. I have to pay you to trade with me. Uh, kind of. Think long term, though. It'll be worth your while sometime in the future. You give me shards, I invest them wisely. I'm not interested in wasting my time or yours. You should see the rare, priceless pieces I've got my hands on before. It's what I do. Uh, trust me. Here, shake my hand. I can tell you're starting to realize it makes sense. Is that enough? Are we good? Oh, we're good. You won't regret it. Don't get tricked out of the rest of your shards now. It can happen. It's why I mostly trade in objects. You get it. I can tell. How does two days sound? Then I'll have something you won't believe. I'm excited just thinking about it. Meet me back here. Got anything to trade? Oh.
have spoken with last. So, do you think he's involved? Doesn't look like it. Someone stole a batch of nails from his workshop. Same type used to hang up the flyers. There's not much to go on. At least now we know for sure the nails were his. Hmm. Damn it. Only leads and they're up in smoke. I didn't have much luck either. Staked out the tavern hoping to see something suspicious. Nothing. A couple of people acting a little shady. But no one stealing menus. Must have missed something. So let's go over the details again. Everything we know about the flyers so far. Both our suspects seem to be innocent. The real culprit stole the flyers and nails from them. Right. It doesn't look like those robberies happened too recently. No one saw the thief, which means we're not dealing with some small time crook. They know what they're doing. What else do we have? The flyers were made and hung up using common items from around the fort. Interesting point when you think about it. Probably means we're dealing with someone who lives here, not some outsider. Anything else? Looks like the outlaws were behind it all. That much is obvious. Of course, someone could be framing them, but... Eh... So, to sum up, the people behind the flyers, and probably the attempt on Rat's life, too, are likely to be outlaws living in the fort. And they're not a bunch of amateurs. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Gotta admit, I don't have a freaking clue. We're out of options here. The only thing left is to catch them in the act. So we just wait? Well, we can do a sweep of the fort once it's dark, and hope we get lucky. Not a great plan, but unless you can think of anything else... Can't say I can. That's what we'll do. Let me know when you're ready. Let's start our night patrol. Kinda needs to be nighttime for us to go on night patrol, don't you think? Find a bed or rent a room at the Sleepy Traveler and get some shut-eye. Then come back. Dark. Why am I doing all this shit for Dawkins anyway? Ugh. I have no other choice. I don't want to die like that. Maybe don't think about it. Let's start our night patrol. Kinda needs to be nighttime for us to go on night patrol, don't you think? Fine. Let's start our night patrol. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. How about we go off the beaten track? We can get a good look at what's going on behind the houses, too. Remember, we're not dealing with morons here. They're not gonna come strutting down the main road. Pipe down. There's someone back there. It's mine. Okay, I'll wait here. Just be ready to back me up if he tries to make a break for it. Hey, you! Come over here! Uh, what? Are you talking to me? I'm just, uh, taking care of some private business. 
I know you're the one who tried to kill Rath. Don't try to deny it. What? No. Why would I do that? I've been a berserker for six years, and I've never done anything wrong. I swear. Then you won't mind telling me what you're doing here. I... Well, the thing is... Uh, ah, fuck it. Okay, I'll come clean. I was, uh, just doing my business, you know, taking a leak through the window. You what? Look, the guy who lives here tried it on with my woman. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Huh. I guess I'd be pretty pissed, too. This might be taking it too far, though. Still, I believe you. So get out of here before I change my mind. Bye, Ragnar. Thank you. And you won't see me again. Well, that was a big, hot stream of nothing. And as colorful as it might be, pissing through someone's window isn't quite against the law. Let's forget the whole thing and keep moving. When you gotta go, you gotta go. We'll be watching you. Keep your eyes peeled. Any tiny detail could be significant. Those two look mighty suspicious, don't you think? We should get in closer, see what they're talking about. Good idea. We should listen in first. Move in until you're within earshot. Wait for my signal. Somebody sneaking like that must be up to no good. Hey, baby. Somebody sneaking <laughs> like that must be up to no Look, good. I told you, I'm not interested. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, sugar. I know you want it. You don't have to play hard to get. Now give me some sugar. Hey! Worried you'll be caught? I think we've heard enough. Stop! You there! What are you doing, asshole? You totally cock-blocked me. Listen to yourself. Got more booze than sense in your head. Hey, take it easy. I, I wasn't gonna do anything to her. If I ever see you talking to a woman like that again, I'll slam your face into the ground. And that's if you're lucky. Fuck, man. I get it. I get it. Maybe I did have a few too many. Shit. Get out of here and sleep it off. And think about what you're doing with your life. Go on, scram! Scumbag like that's always worth keeping an eye on. I won't forget his face. But as fucked up as that was, it has nothing to do with why we're here. Let's take a look around the smithy. That's where they got the nails. Maybe they'll be back for more. Can't believe something like that could happen here. You never see that kind of thing in Goliath. Maybe we'll catch a break and find someone at the blacksmith. We better. After that, I'm out of ideas. At least it hasn't been a total waste. Plenty going on tonight. Just nothing that has anything to do with those flyers. I'm starting to think we won't find anyone connected to this whole mess tonight. Still. Let's not give up. Sweep's not over yet. Look, over there, right by the smithy. You deal with this one. Go and speak to him. No problem. Good. Just don't stir up any shit if you don't have to. I'll keep watch and make sure he doesn't run. You there! What? What? Petty theft, is it? Are you fucking kidding me? You're not even a pissant guard. I'm not telling you anything. Now get the fuck out of here. You might want to rethink your attitude. 
I'm here with my pal Wolf. Oh yeah? Is that supposed to mean something to me? One of the fort guards. I'll tell him the same as I'm telling you. Sweet, fuck all. You can both kiss my hairy ass. Hey you! What do you think you're doing there? Mind your own fucking business. I'm guessing petty theft. And I'm guessing you can get fucked. You better listen up, pal. If I find stolen nails in your pockets, I promise you will be in deep shit. And I do mean deep. You guards think you're so fucking special, don't you? I'm just looking for my safes, all right? I dropped them around here somewhere. Needed a quick smoke before I hit the bottom again. Is that a crime? You got any witnesses who can back up your story? Uh, you can ask the whole fucking tavern. I made a big impression, I can tell you. So I'll be off now, you giant prick. Taking a walk is not a fucking crime. I'll be watching you, pal. Ugh, another dead end. Let's just finish our sweep and head back to the tavern. Uh, this isn't gonna be our lucky night. Unless we suddenly stumble over the people we're looking for. I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> Me too. But you have all the makings of a great berserker. Nice work out there. Anyway, we're nearly there. Seen anything else that looks fishy? Can't say I have. God damn it. Me neither. Well, there's the tavern again. Think I'll go in and soak up some of the atmosphere. Ask around. Maybe I'll hear something. That's about all we can do. Whole night is a waste of time. Are you giving up? Maybe. I don't know. We should split up for now anyway. Maybe we'll have more luck that way. Other than that, I'm all out of ideas. Anyway, let me know if you see or hear anything that seems even slightly relevant. Anything. Right then. See you later. Huh. Well, that's very irritating. <clears throat> I'm probably better off not thinking about it. you find out I'll start okay no research is my job I'm starting Petra I agree with Bobby's argument Killjoy. two people must have drunk a lot of beer in front of the tavern then when they were finished they went somewhere else two people you say that fits my current hypothesis perhaps the same two people that had a fight in the healer district but only one person was spying in the residential district. Only one? Intri I understand you want to talk. Why is that inter... interesting? My friends, we can now deduce the following. Two acquaintances meet in Chloe's bar. They get drunk together, and then they change locations. The healer district. Precisely, Petra. Precisely. 
a dispute arises. The dispute becomes an altercation. As with many altercations, there is a winner and a loser. The loser is angry, naturally. He is our suspect, who in his peak, vandalized Hitch's home. And left us to take the blame. Do you know what that means? Go on, tell us. We have a new case. Mm. I need to concentrate. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. A trivial detail. Now let us proceed as follows. Bobby, your job is to find out who Hitch was in the bar with last. Got it, boss. Petra, you maintain your vigilant surveillance of the residential district. All right. And what are you going to do? My aunt wants me to clean up this junk. I'm afraid I can't get out of it. You have two days to get the information we need. Good luck. So, how's your case going? I am not at liberty to share our progress with you. You must be able to tell me something. I'm sorry. Every single detail is strictly confidential. Then I'd better leave you to it. Yes, you had. talk to you not here though meet me next to the entrance to the upper district okay tonight midnight what do you want from me no, 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 not now not here just remember midnight tonight upper district entrance I'll explain then I'll explain everything then Why would he do that? I don't know, but that. Well, this food leaves much to be desired. What is it with the guys around here always putting hands? How's your investigation going? Not a tattletale. You must be able to tell me something. No. You know, I guarded those bottles for you. Huh? The beer bottles, remember? Oh, right, those. Don't need them now. So why did I go to all that trouble? Um, because it was fun? Forget it. Oh. Think so. How about a drink for us? I'll take a room. Great. You can have the one on the top floor. Next payment's due in a week if you'd like to stay on. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously, don't.
It's better that I recruit the fighters for the sixth power and not anyone else. Okay, this'll do. We can talk here. What's with all this secrecy? Listen, you're drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Running through the camp, accusing everyone of working with the outlaws. It's not exactly subtle. So to the business. You're looking for the outlaws responsible for that propaganda. Am I right? Go on. <laughs> oh, are you barking up the wrong tree, pal? The Claws aren't outlaws, but we're, uh, sympathetic to their cause. You're on the path to winning the Berserker's trust. And I have an offer for you. What are the Claws? And then all in good time. You'll see soon enough. Just listen to my offer, okay? What exactly are you offering? I want you to work for us. Don't worry, it won't involve bloodshed. We Claws prefer a more subtle approach. We want you to cozy up to the Berserkers. Pass us any information you find out. But we'll pay well. A lot of shards to be earned. And just to show we're serious, here's a small advance. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Trust me. Think about it, all right? If you'll join us, meet me in my kitchen. If not, well, we never have this meeting, understand? Just don't take too long making up your mind. You're full of shit. I found one of the outlaws who've been putting up flyers. At last, some good news. Well, who is it? His name's Skinny. Skinny? The cook? I find that hard to believe. If he's one of them, they've wormed their way in much deeper than I thought. Whatever he wants from you, play along. Sure, he's just the tip of the iceberg. The fort must be crawling with outlaws. We have to get to the bottom of this, no matter how deep it goes. So do whatever it takes to find out who's pulling the strings. Good work. Oh, yeah. I'm all smiles. Want to talk about it?
I'll work for you. Ah, didn't think you'd decide so quickly. Glad to have you aboard. Okay, listen up. Before I take you to our hideout and make introductions, I need something. I need evidence that I can trust you. Like what? I need you to, uh, <laughs> get your hands dirty. We need to know you're prepared to take risks for us and have some thieving skills. No problem. What do you want me to steal? I want you to steal a ring. Just a ring? Well, no, 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 no. Not just any old ring. It's a valuable piece that belongs to a wealthy trader who lives in the upper district. He won't miss it. How do I get it? Oh, well, shouldn't be a problem. You see, as a cook, I have access to the upper district. I collect the ingredients for my kitchen there. I know this trader has a secret entrance into his house. A kind of escape route. That is your way in. There's a device on the outside of his house that'll open the path for you. It should be simple. At night, access the secret entrance, sneak into the house, and steal the trader's signet ring. Got it? Come and see me when you're done. Oh, uh, <laughs> nearly forgot. The device needs a key. Lucky for you, I already made a copy without him noticing. Lucky indeed. We claws like to be well prepared. Okay, well I'm out. Good luck. See you when the job's done. the customer but you know where to find Not me if now. you want to have a real talk thanks Chloe appreciate it apparently they're still in Not now I'm busy you better be quiet anyone who says so is a damn idiot Not now I'm busy And these keys seem to work. Doors open. Go. 
got it. We should take the ring to Skinny. Should probably lock it again. Before you say anything, I'm real busy right now. Doing what? I'm investigating. Do you want to know what I'm looking for? Oh, of course. Well, I'm not telling you. Suit yourself. I stole the ring for you. Fantastic, but it's not for me. This ring's your ticket into our world, so uh, keep it for now. By the way, you did close the secret passage, right? Wouldn't be good if someone saw it open. What do you think? This ain't amateur hour. <laughs> I didn't think it was. You'll make a fine addition to our little gang of thieves. Now, uh, Come with me. Time to introduce you to someone. Where are we going? Uh, no questions, just follow me. I'll show you the door, but uh, you have to go through it alone. Claws work solo, see that's how it works. Nobody knows I tested you. So she has the last word. If she thinks you're trustworthy, well, my friend, you are in. Never Listen, pal, I hate this vague bullshit. Who's she? I said no questions, didn't I? Just be patient. You'll see soon enough. Almost there. This is your hiding place? This? <laughs> of course not. See the trap door there on the floor? Yeah, let me unlock it for you. Okay, it's all yours. In you go. Just don't forget to close the tunnel back up when you leave. See you around. Hopefully. Wait, aren't you coming? Nope. You have to do this alone. Good luck. Aha, there we go. Open. Welcome to the underground. I'm Yasma. But before you say a word, I have to get this out. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want to know your name, and I don't care where you came from. Remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Haven't we met before? I don't know, and I don't care either. The claws tend to disappear and never come back. They join other factions or end up dead. I've lost too many people I cared about. So I don't have any friends, and I don't care to make any. You don't seem surprised to see me. You being here means someone from the Claws vouched for you and showed you where our hideout is. But you're not just here for your health. You've proven yourself to earn your place here. So what happens now? Well, if you're here, you would have had orders to steal something, right? Whatever that is, give it to me. Good. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe for you. 
We wouldn't want anyone to find it with your fingerprints on it. That'd be a shame. It'd give them an excuse to lock you up. Now, why are you really here? I'm here to earn some shards. That, I'd believe. But it's still not the reason why you're here. I'll ask again. Why are you here? The real reason. I want to join you. That may be true, but that's not why you're here. Now tell me the truth. Skinny talked me into coming. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't followed him of your own volition. Now tell me the truth. Why are you here? I'm disappointed. I know Wolf sent you to take down our network. You knew? Of course. We're the Claws. We know everything, see everything, and hear everything. Never underestimate us. If you knew that, then why'd you bring me here? I arranged this little test and sent Skinny to administer it. We hope to win you over so you'd join our cause. To show you I trust you, you can leave again. Alive. Just like that? Not quite. Take this. Propaganda leaflets. What am I supposed to do with them? They're proof that you found us. We've set up some old ruins near the fort to make it look like our hideout. Take these leaflets to Wolf. Tell him you found our camp. Then send him over to the decoy in the ruins. Do that, and it'll take the heat off us for a while. Then I'll answer all your questions. That won't particularly help us. Yes, sir, Dyer. I don't believe it. I found the outlaw's hideout. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Underneath the fort. There's a hidden trap door that leads right into their den. Outstanding work. I'll send a few men down there right away. I have to say, I'm impressed. That gang had a bounty on their heads, so you have a nice reward coming your way. You earned it, all right. 
I'll be sure to tell Fenris how well you did. I got this from them. They tried to win me over to their cause. Great job bringing that to me. I'll make sure all these flyers are destroyed. See you around. That was not advisable. Come with me. You already have enough company. We're... Follow me. Somebody needs to talk to the cleaning staff. This place is a shithole.
of stuff, and I don't pay that much attention. Just forget I asked. You sure? Because forgetting means a lot, too. Never mind. Where was I? Step aside! I'll deal with it! the rank, the more responsibilities. Where's the fun in that? Hmm. Let's just leave it there.
wait here for you. This looks like the source of the gas. I should tell Scrappy that this source probably won't be closed off. Fast. This looks like the source of the gas. I should tell Scrappy that this source probably won't be closed off. <clears throat> Found the source of the gas. High volumes of it are emanating from the back of the mine. Don't think the source can be blocked off. Well, shit. You saying there's no way to get rid of it? Doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch. Ah, but wait. Old Scrappy's got an idea. Well, it was your idea, actually. But let's talk about you. Take some of Fenris's shards, okay? Have someone check you out. Gas is dangerous shit. 
So, what's your idea? Gas masks. We need gas masks. Where do we get them? Getting folk to work in the mine with just a gas mask is about as wise as shoving a stick up a troll's ass. But I ain't got no choice. We need the iron. You'll need new miners as well. Oh, shit, huh? <laughs> you didn't think about that. But we can buy masks from the Morgans if one of them mole trader fuckers is in the fort. They must have that sort of shit, living underground and all. I'll see if I can find anything. Here. This should be enough to get some masks. Now I gotta figure out how to convince some other poor bastards to work down the mine. How many gas masks do you need? Five should do to start. Look in the trade district. Should be some going there. If our luck's pure shit, we'll have to go to the Morcons. Them moles will definitely have them. How are you gonna find new miners? Guess I'll just hang up a few flyers or something. Still got some floating around. Might not mention the last lot dying. Why don't you hang up a few on the bulletin boards? I'll take care of the area around the main gates. Where do I find the bulletin boards? There's one near Chloe's Tavern, one near the fields, and one close to Skinny's Soup Kitchen. Uh, be careful out in the fields. Thorhill will be pissed if you try to take her workers. Got all that? Well, off you go then. If you need me, I'll be hanging around the main gate. Thorhild runs a tight ship. If you so much as look sideways at one of her seedlings, she'll be on you before. Hey, what are you doing? I need to find new mine workers for Scrappy. Go see Thorhild. You need permission before you poach her workers. Where was I? Thorhild runs a tight ship. If you so much as look sideways at seedlings she'll be on you before you can blink uh, I've told you countless times already I, I thought that if I I highly doubt that you telling me what you thought will help scrappy needs new recruits for the mine more recruits he has plenty working for him. It was an incident. It wouldn't be the first. Tell me, please, what have I got to do with it? I have to put up a notice here. And you think I'll just let you do that? Without the mine, the fort will be missing a crucial source of iron. And without seedlings, we may as well give up our campaign. About the workers for the mine. Doesn't everyone have a choice who they work for? Of course. There's no slave labor here. Then you shouldn't stop me from putting up the notice. And what if people start to run away? If they don't want to work here, they won't be as productive anyway. Hmm. Might be onto something there. We certainly can't let productivity suffer. Put up your notice. No one will be interested in it anyway, now that I think about it. 
Who'd work in a musty mine shaft when they could be enjoying the fresh air of the fields? Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm sure you've heard that we're missing work tools. I take care of it myself, but... Well, you've seen the sorts of people I have to work with. What's your solution? Well, if our esteemed blacksmith imagines he can shirk his duties and only make weapons, he's very, very wrong. If we're not getting any work tools from Goliath, it's up to him to make some. Someone just needs to make him understand. Can I count on you? Think about it. I'm a woman of my word. You will be paid. I'll go to the blacksmith for you. Good. If Lass refuses to take it on, tell him that it's not up for discussion. Not bad! Hey, I notice right away when someone's sneaking around. Done. Did Thorhill give you permission? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's fine then. Getting at. You really think so? If you're looking for a place, buddy, I'm your guy. Is she really that gullible? From rat infested dumps to luxury shacks, I've got them all in my portfolio. I had no Hello. idea you were so well. Blade is blunt. Done. Uh, I was saying something, right? Sometimes all it takes for property to change hands is a few ass kickings. Thanks, but no thanks. All done. I should get back to Scrappy. I must still be in the fort somewhere. up the flyers good job that's what I like to hear here's a little something for your trouble you're a good one you are now if you could just get a hold of some damn gas masks we'd be able to work the mine again that's the last thing I need from you swear on my late mom's under have to manufacture the tools for the cultivators. Listen, I'm a weaponsmith. We supposed to send our people out to fight with pitchforks and scythes? Not gonna do it. Then explain that to Thorhild yourself. Now you listen to me. It's not as easy as you think. What she's asking for takes time. Time and a whole pile of iron. I don't have enough of either as it is. 
Exactly how much time and how much iron do you need for the tools? <laughs> You're a tenacious one, huh? Fine. You get me 25 nuggets of iron ore, and I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can squeeze the order in somewhere. But I'm not spending more than three days at the anvil for this. That isn't enough. Let's trade. Yeah, sure. Where do I find iron ore? Ask old Scrappy. If anyone knows where to find it, he does. So... <laughs> There's my trusty friend. Well, uh, did you manage to get a hold of my supplies? Chloe didn't have your provisions. Seriously? You mean to say you've come back empty-handed? That's not right! There's not a food shortage, is there? Not exactly. Someone with sticky fingers. They were stolen? Oh, for Ravik's sake, just my luck. The guards were probably too busy harassing me to notice. What do I do now? I'll make sure Chloe holds up her end of the bargain. I won't ask how you'll manage that, but I'm not gonna argue. Let me know when you have news. I need gas masks. With or without filters? What's the point of a gas mask without a filter? Okay, point taken. I usually have a few in stock. Have a rummage. Because it's you, you can have it for a special low price. Spare me the sales spiel. Let's trade. That's what I like to hear. Take a good look around. No rush.
have the gas masks that Scrappy needs. He asked me to bring them to him. says you can help me get some iron ore. Ha! Motherfucker ain't wrong. Got some of that around here. If you need more, just get it from the mine. And if them assholes try to stop you, send them to me. Old Scrappy will remind them who's boss. But you watch yourself down there, okay? The air can get nasty. I wouldn't want to have to drag your ass out of there. <laughs> Have the gas masks you need. You got them? Seriously? Fuck me, son. You're a damn hero, you know? Ain't got a damn clue how I can thank you. Ah, you know what? Take more of Fenris's money. You've damn well earned it. Oh, the shit on a plate, call it cuisine. We did it. This mine will be up and running in no time. I'll make sure Fenris knows what you've done for me. Thanks again, boy. You're a damn good son of a bitch. Now I'm off to get my new workers together and head down to the mine with them. If you need anything else, I'll be down there. I'll see you around, son. Good job! Or for the tools. Well, the supplies are no longer a problem. Now on to the next thing. I said I'd give you three days at the anvil. That'll get five quality tools, or ten basic ones. I always say quality is worth it, but five won't be enough for every cultivator. I won't guarantee quality for double that many, just so we're clear. So what'll it be? Come on, decide now. Ain't got all day. Make me five quality tools. Good. Tell Thorhill she got her way. The next beer's on you. I'll deliver on myself. No need for you to come collect them. We'll pick up anything else we need along the way. And if we're followed? No one's gonna follow us. Come on, the crater is waiting. Well, okay then. Let's go. trying to convince me that you don't know where your friends are hiding? I was just having a little snooze and then... What, uh... What are you doing here? What, are you lost? Last made you the work tools. Did he cause any problems? He'll probably mark it down against your name in the future. Typical. Anything else? I had to decide how many work tools he should make. 
That blockhead should just do his job. But good. I can stop worrying about it now. What's up? My workers are running away. And while I'm trying to fix their mistakes for them, they take the rest of the day off. You just let them go like that? What do you take me for? I was distracted for a split second. That's all it took for them to make a break for it. Just now, when the seedlings need the most attention. You need to get them back. No discussion. I can't do it myself. I need to make sure the seedlings don't wither away. Where would your workers hide? If only I knew. They couldn't have gotten very far. I'm guessing they're in the fort. Eating, drinking. They want nothing more in life. Why would he do that? See, you all got your masks on already. That's good. Few things you gotta know before we get started. Come on, come closer. Don't make an old man holler. That's better. Right. Now listen up. We're about to head down into the mine. You'll need something to eat, sleep, fight with, and take the edge off. Last one's optional, I guess. Tools are already done. And just don't forget, the mine's chock full of gas, so change your filters out often, okay? All right, let's go then. Nice! Shit. I don't understand anything about working here, but nobody wants to help you either. Can't make it any clearer. Look, can't you see I'm deep in conversation with this bottle? Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. I heard he was robbed. They should feel shame. Hmm. Sometimes I wish the Duke was back. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. Here's some advice. If you find any other job than this one, take it. Whatever. Not now. The old lady's looking this way. Can't make it any clearer. Sorry. Thanks again for help. I just don't think about it. Out there getting dangerous. We course. have our way. It should be enough. I've never heard such nonsense. I don't know. In the area, that. too. You're thirsty, aren't you? Shouldn't you be looking after the seedlings? I can wait. Thorhill doesn't see it that way. And that old lady should pay us some real money. We're not screwing around for the hell of it. We know a lot's riding on these seedlings. That's why we're busting our asses looking out for them. Just a couple of shards for all that? Shh. Come on, man. What's wrong with these shards? Not enough of them's what's wrong. We do anything wrong and the bitch cuts our pay. Why don't you bring it up to her? She doesn't give a shit. Only cares about that green stuff. And always finds something to complain about. 
Rearing these seedlings ain't easy. But maybe for her it is. Working the field all her damn life. But us? Look at this ragtag bunch. Most of them are from the gutter. That smart-ass attitude of hers doesn't help. Tossing a few shards our way is the least she can do. Is Thorhild the one who decides how many shards you get? I think so. She's so stingy, I bet she doesn't even change her drawers. Couldn't she talk to her? If you can get her to kick in a few more shards for us, we'll get back to work. Promise. Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. Take the love you like. I don't believe you guys. I don't believe it. Is she really that gullible? Apparently they're still in Goliath. I'd have a potion to put them in. What's the kind of thing? find the cultivators? Yeah. Butch told me they wanted more shards. Ungrateful curs. Is my training worth nothing to them? They don't think much of that either. And they still want more shards? Unacceptable! Surely you can spare a little, Alexit. You've no doubt noticed that more seedlings has meant more cultivators. A little soon turns into a great many. But Fenris isn't allocating me more funds. So, I have to make do with the budget I have. You see? My options are limited. Or do you have a solution already? I'll talk to Fenris about payments for the cultivators. I bet he won't cough up a single shard. You'll see. can't make it any clearer. Thorhild says you'll divide up the shards, right? I suppose. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. 
Everyone feels like they've been shortchanged and wants more. The cultivators, for example. Ah, so that's why you came to see me. And no, I cannot give Thorhild more shards. I'd have to withhold some from the paladins if I did, and Scrappy is already underpaid. Talk to Tylus. If he'd be willing to forego his shares of the shards, I might be able to make something work. Come out here, bastard. Make it easier on yourself. Hmm. Huh. Not who I was expecting. Looking for someone? Yes. Well, then that makes two of us. One too many. Maybe we're looking for the same person. And? Well, he's a berserker. About your size. Fast. Ring any bells? What if it did? His name's Marwin. He wants to get to the fort, but I'm not gonna let him. You seem pretty determined. I don't like to fuck around. What did Marwin do to you? To me? Nothing. But that's irrelevant. I know he's supposed to work with the alchemists in the fort. What's so bad about that? Maybe I should explain. The alchemist's elixirs heal wounds, improve a warrior's strength, that sort of thing. It's an advantage that means they're stronger than other factions. Well, Baxter's had enough. What's that got to do with Marwin? Not a lot. He's just a pawn. When I've seen to it that he won't make it to the fort, I'll take his place. And do what? Nothing awful, just learn what they know so everyone can make use of the knowledge. Such power shouldn't be a secret. A noble goal, don't you agree? If you're wondering, there's a reason I told you all this. Are you asking for my help? Time is not on my side. Working together, we can do something incredible for the free people. Imagine what could be achieved with access to the alchemist's secrets. Listen, what do you think's gonna happen when the Purple Sky Plague's been eradicated? The Berserkers will try to seize power for themselves. They'll keep fighting. The bodies will keep piling up. They must be stopped. It's too dangerous for one faction to have so much power. Our boss understands that. About Marwin? I won't let anything happen to him. History isn't kind to those who fall on the wrong side of it. And I won't be denied. So I suggest you stay out of my way. You have a death wish. If you don't kill me, the bounty hunters will. Don't you understand? I have no choice. You might escape the bounty hunters, but not me. So be it. Guess I can't change your mind. It's funny, really. You think you're right, but you're not. Why can't you understand that if we don't get our hands dirty now, we'll all end up choking on mud in the end? Enjoy your pathetic little victory while you still can. I'm getting out of here. Not bad.
beasts everywhere. Almost got me. Oh, wait. Who are you anyway? You're Tylus' apprentice, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Did he send you? It's good to meet you. But maybe we should take this conversation somewhere else. Come with me. My hiding place isn't far from here. Keep your eyes open. The silence is deceptive. Okay, this is better. I'm sorry about the smell. Finding a safe place to answer nature's call, well, it's not easy. How long have you been hiding out here? A few days, I suppose. Maybe longer. It's not by choice. I should be at the fort. But Tylus must have forgotten about me. Is someone after you? Yeah. It's not just those creatures that are out to get me. My guides were shot by some bastard outlaw. A whole troop left Goliath, but I'm the only one left. I guess he wanted me dead too, but I got away. He's still out there, waiting, while I'm stuck here using up all my supplies. About the outlaw. Yeah? He won't be getting in your way anymore. You mean I'm free to leave this cesspit? Yeah. Did you make him suffer? Is that important? He killed my guides right in front of me. I guess I wanted him to suffer. But you're right. It's no good dwelling on the past. I won't bring them back. I better get moving towards the fort. You want me to come? That's okay. There are some herbs on the way I have to look out for. I don't want to waste your time with that. Come and visit me when you're at the fort. I guess they'll probably put me up in the healer's quarters. I'd be happy to see you there. Sounds good. No worries. Later. Good job! Hold on a sec. Stylus was asking about you. You better go talk to him soon. Anything else? He said you should kick over a few shards for this info. What? I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah. He told me over a beer. Seriously. Hmm. Okay. So cough up some shards. I'll bring them to Fenris later. Shit. Here, for a good cause. The community is grateful. Get out of here. You gotta talk to Tylus. Nice! to and to your service about time too ragnar should have let you go much earlier than he did how much do you know about my work the basics your discoveries are talked about in goliath 
Discoveries? Ha! Those were all self-evident. I've been working on much bigger things since then. Is it true you're researching Panacea? Indeed. But my findings are not ready for review. Now, enough of this chatter. We get on well enough. You must familiarize yourself with all this. Then, we can start our work. As you wish. What's this panacea Marwin was talking to you about? Obtaining this panacea, my unknowing friend, makes searching for the Philosopher's Stone seem like child's play. It's a miracle cure. Or to be precise, THE miracle cure. Pretty useful, then. It has unparalleled power. My research has only just scratched the surface of what it can do. The expertise required to create it goes well beyond common knowledge. Of course, that is why I alone will be successful. How long will it take? Alas, perhaps an eternity. You see, I cannot obtain the key ingredient. Which is? My peace and quiet, damn it! I've made sure that your apprentice will find you. I expect you wish it was you. Ask him yourself. Hm. Huh. It's the apprentice who does the asking. But thank you for finding him for me. I think you're forgetting something. Heaven help me. You want some kind of payment, I suppose. I need some shards too. I'm not a gold mine. I'll tell Fenris what a helpful fellow you are. There. That's how generous I am. Now, I must be getting on with things. There's so much work to be done. Not bad! I need a few shards for the cultivators. Could you spare any? Listen here, young man. You're getting rather presumptuous. It's urgent. Thorhill's workers are running away. Okay, well, in that case, ask my assistant. If anyone around here could spare some, it's that scoundrel Rake, not me. I was hoping you would be more forthcoming. I do the work of two people and rarely catch a break. This is too much. Even my patience has its limits. Allow me to refer you to Special Regulation A38. The property of an alchemist must not be misappropriated. And that includes my Alexit. Okay, but how about it? I've just told you, bring it up with my assistant. You know, I thought motivating him with shards was a good idea. But it's had the opposite effect. It does mean, however, he's got shards to spare. And you think his shards won't be enough? He simply won't listen. He's totally overpaid. More than most workers would dream of. He'll be reluctant to share his rewards. Of course. You'll need to be very persuasive. I'd be glad to see the back of him. Anyway, head to the tavern. No doubt he'll be holed up there. Now, if you'll please excuse me. I'm still not done with my drink. Then drink faster. We have to talk. Oh yeah? Spit it out. The cultivators want more shards. No shards, no work. 
Ah, uh, I understand completely. Oh, wait, no, that's bullshit. What's it got to do with me? You're supposed to give up part of your pay for them. <laughs> Sounds real appealing. Bet Tylus put that dumbass idea in your head, huh? Does it matter? Will you share or not? Man, they really pull the wool over your eyes, huh? Listen, I have a better idea. If you're gonna tell me to find someone else, forget it. <laughs> Been running around like a headless rat, huh? No sweat, man. Tell you what, take this Alexa. Just a little proof that you like my solution. Don't wanna blow my own trumpet, but I'm pretty well known for coming up with solutions to tough problems. Those idiots should have sent you to me right away. Listen up, man. Meet me here tomorrow. Gotta call in a few favors. Then you'll get what the cultivators want, alright? But first, I need some food to get the gray matter going. Well, maybe just a drink. You better be quiet. Heard things in a best are dire. time. found the solution to your little cultivator problem. But I don't want anyone overhearing our little plan. This is for your ears only. Follow me, okay? Hold on a second. We investigated that outlaw hideout you told me about. There was no sign of them there. Looked like someone tipped them off we were coming. Well, we knew they were smart. So what now? Nothing. Drove them away? That'll have to do for now. Just thought you'd like to know how the investigation was going. I'll keep working at it all the same. See you around. It's time. Hmm. Onward. We have our way. It should be enough. Hello. So, you're the guy after Rick's money. That's right. Then you're not gonna like what happens next. Go on, kick the shit out of him. You heard the man. Nothing personal. Don't forget that asshole still has my shards. Got it. Now get lost. I'll take care of it. Don't worry, little man. You won't feel a thing. Best if you don't put up a fight. So, Rake's up next. Oh, I think I broke something. Oh, what? Here to make fun of me? Working for Rake was a bad idea. I'm a mercenary. I work for whoever pays. Although, I guess I won't be getting paid today. Do me a favor. Kick that shithead's ass. It's his fault this happened to me. Bet he's hiding close by. Coward. I'm out of here. Gonna drink until I forget all about this shitty day. What the hell are you doing here? 
You should have found a better fighter. Oh, oh look, man. Uh, that was just a bit of fun among friends, yeah? D to tell Tylus you can have my shards. Uh, no need to kick my ass, right? I never want to see you here again. Uh, no, no problem, man. That's cool. In fact, I'm off right now. Ray can be crossed off the payroll. I should tell Thorhild and Tylus. Good job. Rake's gone. Damn, that little shit still needs to clean out the charcoal retorts. He's turned his back on the fort. In truth, I won't miss him much. His antics got on my nerves. I'm glad that's the end of it. Tell Thorhild that she can have his shards. Okay, thanks for letting me know. you're back. Let me guess, you couldn't negotiate any shards for the cultivators? Quite the opposite. Well then, I'm just dying to hear what story you're gonna tell me now. Tylus' aide informed me he's going to donate his salary. What? He's never once emptied his pockets by choice. Nobody said it was by choice. Oh, I understand. So... You're gonna share the Alexit with your workers? Of course. Maybe the shards will finally make them focus on their work. You can tell Butch that the cultivators will be getting a pay raise. No problem. I expected nothing less from you. Why would he do that? Hey! Got anything to trade? Sure! I'm sure you've got something special to show me. That's how these deals work, right? Oh, I'm excited to see what you've come here with. So. Let's talk Elix. Is that what you've got? How about some beer? Uh, not really. I don't drink, and it isn't exactly worth much. But you know what? I'll take it. People always want beer. I do have something for you, though. It's pretty special. It's a little heavy, but you're gonna like it. 
Yeah, but you can't give this to me. Of course I can. Finding a buyer would have been tricky anyway. But I heard gold is used for electronics. That's got to be useful to you, right? It's more of a kind of thing for the clerics. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, there's this cleric woman, Vivian. She'll give you a good price, guaranteed. Don't go making any stupid deals, though. Sell it properly. Thousand shards, minimum. Can we do business again soon? Not just yet. I need some time. Relax, though. We're good. You'll see me again. We'll be doing business again in no time. Those damn idiots. Why would we do that? I'd have opposed it differently. We have our way. It should be enough. The cultivators are getting paid more. It can't be. See for yourself. Let's get back to the field. Are you serious? That's nuts. What do you think it'll take to get her to treat us like human beings? Any chance you could help with that? I mean, you're already on our side. Let me think about it. Thanks, man. I can't understand a word. I heard you better than I know it. Think so? I think you're full of shit. All right, my friends. What were you able to find out? Butch and the other cultivators are back at work. That's good. There's still one more thing I could use your advice with. You've never given the impression that you're looking for suggestions. You don't say. That's why I'm asking you now. I've got some time. What do you want to know? Something's telling me the shards won't keep the cultivators satisfied for very long. I'm not surprised. They're unhappy. But how? They even have the work tools they need. You ever tried listening to them? Why? Their role here is clear. I've explained what they have to do, more than once. Did you also show them? No. Why would I demonstrate what I've already explained? Have you ever praised their work? I haven't needed to. Do you show your workers the same respect you show your seedlings? Not really, I guess. That's what I thought. I'm starting to understand what you're trying to say. I think I know what has to be done. You've given me a lot to think about. Thanks. There's no need to thank me. I'll report to Fenris that you've been a big help. Now, please excuse me. There are some things I need to... explain.
teach me something. Sure. I want to learn about animal pelts. Show. Here, this is for you. Here, this is for you. Here, this is for you. That isn't enough. That isn't enough. How am I doing? Well, Scrappy seems to think highly of you, so it seems you're doing okay. Thorhild seems satisfied, and she isn't easily pleased. Good work. Tylus says you really helped him out. You've done well. Right, now you have an advocate. You only need my approval. For that, you'll have to pass Rat's loyalty test. I should warn you, though. So far, no one has passed. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Let me worry about that. Your confidence is admirable, but listen to what Rat wants you to do. What sort of test is this? As you know, this is the former outlaw camp. Many of them have joined us, but not all of them hold us berserkers in high regard. Have you noticed the outlaw propaganda that's been circulating? Yeah, I talked to Wolf about it. Ah, I see. Well, that simplifies things a little. I'll keep it brief then. I was going to send you to Wolf anyway. Help him find the source of this damaging propaganda. If you manage that, I'll let you up to see Rat. We already found the source. What? 
Honestly? Hmm. You're more efficient than I could have imagined. Can I go to the upper district now? Well, let me see. You have at least one advocate, and you managed to find the source of the propaganda. I must say, I'm impressed. You officially have my permission to enter the upper district. You're the first person I can send up there with a clear conscience. Still, you should see Rat straight away. He's going to want to talk to you. He's the only one who can initiate new berserkers into the faction. I'm sure when he hears what you have done, he'll accept you, or at least give you a reward. I'll see you around. I have some things to do, especially now that the upper district is open to more people. Where can I find Rat? Go to the upper district and tell the gate guard Lothar I sent you. He'll let you pass. You'll be able to see Rat's tower right away. Nice! Stop. The upper part of the fort is for honorable citizens or those with direct invitation from Warlord Rat only. You're not coming in if you don't have a good reason to be here. Fenris gave me his personal permission to go in. I'm the one who found the source of the outlaw propaganda. Getting rid of the outlaws? That was you? You'd better not be lying to me. I will check. Hello, welcome to my shop. Wait a minute, you're not a berserker. Do you have a reason to be here? What kind of shop is this? The kind run by an upstanding businessman and direct supplier to our warlord Rat and his men. The kind that vermin like you have no business in. I want to buy something. I'm sure you do, but you couldn't afford anything in here. Anyway, I couldn't sell to you even if I wanted to. I have an exclusive contract with Rat. I only sell to Berserkers, and you are quite clearly not one. You the new guy with the city watch? What makes you think that? I guess you're not then. If you're looking to learn how to fight, I can't help you. I only train people with the city watch or who have Fenris's permission. Good day. What do you want? Show me your wares. You got it.
new face. I see the guards have eased up on the restrictions to let you in. Mm, I don't like it, but I guess I have to accept it. So, how do I get you to leave me alone? The warehouse shelves won't stock themselves. Are you selling any of this stuff? Nothing here would interest you. I don't run a storefront, and I'm not interested in making friends. What's your problem? I don't know you, so it's none of your business. Just so you know, there's one thing I care about. A well-stocked and well-managed warehouse. But some stuff's happened lately that's thrown that to chaos. So I'd appreciate it if you'd let me get back to work. What's wrong? What happened? Hmm. Security here isn't what it used to be. You mean the invaders? I mean the damn thieves. Some heathen went and stole my ring. It's stolen. You know what that means? You're gonna have to have a new one made? Oh, spare me your bullshit. This is serious. If I get robbed, then my warehouse might be next. Demand-oriented supply? Psst, gone. Special rations? Bye-bye, gone. This place will fall into chaos if the inventory doesn't match the ledger. And what do they do about this? They ease access restrictions to our district. Insanity, plain and simple. Do you need help? Indeed I do. Only, I don't know if we'll get along because... Out with it. Can I trust you? If I tell you my plans, you can't tell a soul. Can you promise me you'll keep a secret? Of course. Hmm, you're a bit too eager to please for my liking. So, we're gonna do things differently. What I'm gonna show you is very sensitive. So I'm gonna need assurances. I'm gonna need collateral. You give me some shards that cover any possible losses as a show of good faith. You'll get them back later, of course. What's in it for me? Do you remember me saying that I don't hand out anything from the warehouse, hmm? Well, help me, and I'll skim a little and fix the ledger so no one knows. You'll also get to buy from the warehouse. Now, that's a rare privilege. It's up to you. Here's some shards for collateral, so you'll know I'm serious. Excellent. I'll take good care of it. Oh, this theft problem is going to take some time to resolve. When you have the time, let me know. I'll assume you want to catch the thief. No, I wanted to keep going. Only you'll be the thief. You're going to have to explain this to me. The law of averages says things are going to start disappearing around here soon. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. But since we don't know the exact time, we're going to determine it ourselves. <laughs> What's the purpose of that? If other upper district citizens are robbed too, then they'll all realize that we need to change the security rules. I can't be the only one who's been hit, hmm? Then, Rat won't be able to refuse the need for more security. So, the sooner that happens, the tougher it'll be for the actual thieves. So, about the thefts in the upper district. There's got to be an easier way for you to get some security. Nope. Rat always shoos me away whenever I bring it up to him. Why should the warehouse get special treatment and security when there's already guards on the upper district? And he won't budge from that. At least, hmm, not without a little push. 
What exactly am I stealing then? It's not just the what that's important, but also the where. Sneak into the guard's door and see what you can find in their footlockers. Only take what's valuable, leave anything else. Why? Why? Because we're not real thieves! So, you're just going to return whatever valuables I bring you? Hmm, that's the plan. But I still need to figure out how I can bring them back without getting caught. Keep an eye out for little pouches with shards. You may not find what you're looking for in every chest. After all, not many people are smart enough to put something aside for a rainy day. Anything else? Uh, don't come back until you've got some good, valuable stuff. You'll draw too much attention to yourself otherwise. Well, that was bullshit. Want to learn to fight? Go somewhere else. I'm only responsible for training berserkers. Talk with Ejnar, he can help you. Maybe. Why the attitude? Lots of reasons. I'm gonna have to give you details if you want to understand. I'm from Goliath. Magic is par for the course there, but here I had to start from the ground up. Even though most people have some experience with Elix, it's not enough for me to build on. They've only used it to make chems. Good thing we banned that. The fact is, to do magic, you need mana. The people who know how to use that are far and few between. That's why I have a ton of work to do every day and not enough time to do it. So I would appreciate if you would get lost again. I'll ask. See you later. Not now. Careful where you're stepping with those big, dumb feet of yours. You're a warlord? My name's Ulf. Warlord Ulf. And don't you forget it, young'un. And if you even think about making trouble around here, you can expect a warm welcome from my Danya. Danya? Who's that? Your lady friend? Danya's my weapon, you goddamn idiot. So unless you're looking to get real intimate with her, stay on my good side. You hear? Duly noted. Man, what a view. Should I get you some glasses so you can enjoy it too? You know, because you're so old. How dare you, you little wretch! Okay, calm down. It's just a question. Excuse me? Who the hell are you to be questioning my authority? You're talking about warrior's honor, right? The nobility of sacrifice, the sanctity of duty. Anyway, long story short, I work better on my own. Fine. Have it your way. 
Get away from here. I have nothing more to say to you. You got it, boss. Are you okay? What are you doing? Jax, you say? Yes, my lord. What are you doing? Alone? It seems Wolf the God helped him. That was very good to hear. Very nice. Tell the guards the upper district is open again. Very good, sir. Here he is, the man everyone's talking about. Welcome to my humble home. So good to see you here at the fort. Nice spot. Very true. Very true. I normally stay away from places where the sun doesn't shine. Good. Now get out of here. Sure. Or not. You remember me? Of course. I'm sensing you don't remember me, though. Let me help you out. In Logan's day, I was a nobody. Just another rat down in the dirt. It was you who helped me. Gave me the push I needed. When everything fell apart here, Logan and the other rats jumped ship. Not me, though. I was the one who stayed. I fixed the holes in the ship. And now, I'm the captain. But that was a long time ago. I suppose I can't blame you for forgetting me. This is what you call a humble home? You think because it's big it can't be humble? Oh, I disagree. My home is humble if I'm humble. And I'm definitely the most humble person in the fort. But anyway, what can I do for you, old friend? Fenris sent me to talk to you. You managed to get rid of that outlaw propaganda the claws were spreading. That nuisance went on for far too long. And to thank you for putting a stop to it, I'd like to give you a little money. Something to help you start a new life here. I can't say no to that. An excellent decision, my friend. I like to provide for the people I know I can count on. Well, should I ever need it. I, uh... And I know I can count on you. Now that I think about it, I could use your help right away. I've come across a prob... No. A challenge I could use your help with. What kind of challenge? I don't trust some of the... individuals in the upper district. I try to look for the positives, but, well, there are limits. Two people in particular. Barrett the Trader and Ejnar the Trainer. Go and see him. Find out what you can. Can't be too cautious, especially since someone tried to kill me. A rat always has to make sure no one steps on him. And the bigger the rat, the bigger the danger. I need someone who isn't known here. Someone who can blend in. Who can be a simple worker or a merchant. And what exactly am I supposed to do with these two? Just talk to them. Get to know them. Find out what they're up to. Start bad-mouthing me. Difficult, I know, when I'm such a great guy. Just see what they say, see if they like being berserkers. I'm sure you can figure it out. I need to know if I can trust them or not. Sounds like we got a deal. I knew I could count on you. Off you go. You're a natural. You'll be fine. Not bad. Yeah, no business. Just swapped off already. 